Hello YouTube and welcome back. A while ago I made a video where I set a fire alarm strobe on fire to see how fire resistant it was and that video did good. A lot of people wanted me to burn a horn strobe so I burned a horn strobe but that horn strobe was a counterfeit device from Amazon and a lot of people wanted me to burn an actual fire alarm device that you might see in a building. So today we're going to be burning a UL listed fire alarm device to see how well it holds up to fire. I understand that a lot of people might find it wasteful to burn a perfectly good fire alarm device. I assure you that if I do one of these videos, I always make sure that the device is in pretty poor condition and there's nothing else I can really do with it. This unit here has been through a lot. As you can see, the housing's in pretty poor condition. The uh, unit itself is missing parts. And overall, there's just not a whole lot left to do with it. So I figured it would be kind of nice to send it out doing something rather interesting rather than just throwing it away. All right, so I've gotten the device mounted on a board here. As you can see underneath it, I have a little frying pan. Just in the interest of safety, I am doing this away from the house. There's also a fire extinguisher right next to me in the event that something were to go wrong. But let's go ahead and start the fire and see how well this device holds up. Well, it seems that the device is on fire. Oh, and it's already dead. Well, that was a pretty quick uh, ending to one of these videos. I'm surprised that it died so fast. I mean, I guess these things aren't really supposed to be on fire. I guess that's a little bit of a boring end to a video. All right, guys, it seems we're back in business. I let it cool off a little bit and it's working again, as you can see. So uh, let's go, the video can continue. The strobe has stopped working, but the horn's still working. Oh, and it died again. Maybe after it cools down, it'll start. Oh, all right, it started working again. Still working. Wow, still operational at this point. Something you'll notice is that with this ADA, or not ADA, this UL listed device, um, even when it's on fire, it extinguishes itself afterwards because one of the properties of this fire resistant ABS plastic is that it doesn't self-sustain in terms of burning. Oh, well, it seems that it has finally died. So now I'm gonna pull the fire away a little bit and see if it'll recover. Guys, this is unbelievable. This device here I thought was done, but after it's cooled down and I turn on the switch, it works. What on earth? Hats off to Wheelock. This thing is still flashing and making noise, as you can probably see. Oh, maybe it's done for good now. You can get a good look at it. As you can see, this thing is fried. I'm gonna go ahead and do what I've been doing and turn off the power, and then just give it a couple minutes because sometimes that fixes it but uh, it would be pretty crazy if this thing just started working again. Guys, you're not gonna believe this. It still works. Unbelievable. Cooper or Wheelox Engineering really is outrageous. This thing is burnt to a crisp. It's still flashing and it's still beeping. That is insane. Hats off to whoever designed this product. And I'm not sponsored by the way. This thing has been discontinued for what, 20 years now? 
but um, this thing has really outperformed my expectations. Look at that, on fire and it's still working. Looks like it's died again, but knowing this device and how it's performed so far, I'm guessing that as soon as I turn off the power and turn it back on again, it's gonna keep working. I think the reason why it keeps uh, quote unquote dying is there's probably some sort of overcurrent or overheating protection device inside. So when it gets too hot, it just shuts off. But once the electronics cool down, it starts working again. But um, that is some good engineering right there. Hats off once again. Here's what it looks like in its current condition. I don't know if you can tell, but the uh, plastic is like goopy right now. It's like molten, but um, it was just working until a couple minutes ago. You can see the Wheelock logo there. Really does mean something, at least for this series of devices. Wow. It seems that it may finally have died, which is not surprising considering it's almost entirely black, but that was a crazy run. I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes just to make sure it's fully out and then we'll take it inside. All right, guys, you're not gonna believe this. I was taking this device down because the test I figured was over, it wouldn't power on again, and here's the back of it. I figured just one more time I'd give it power, and look at this. It's still working! I actually can't believe this. Look at the condition it's in. It's still flashing and making noise like it's supposed to. I guess we gotta keep testing it. That is crazy. Here we go again. can't believe it I don't know what it's gonna take to get this thing to stop working because it keeps dying and coming back to life all right it's dead nope is it you never know with this thing it just dies and comes back to life and it's flashing again It seems the strobe is still working. Okay. Um, well, I take it that that pot means that it was actually, or it's actually done. You can see the magic smoke coming out of the unit. So I would imagine that this thing is really done now. But that was a crazy, crazy run. I've never seen that happen before. So uh, once again, that is very impressive. It seems like there's actually a little bit of a fire going on inside of there. It might be electronic, because it smells like uh, what it smells like when something electronic is burning. Ah, darn it. I don't think it's recovering from this one. You never know though, always gotta give it a try. All right guys, you're not gonna believe this, and I know I've said that so many times, but uh, I just took it inside because the test is over, and check this out. The strobe is partially functional, and the horn is still functional. Unbelievable. Well, that's going to do it for today. That's what it takes to kill, or at least partially kill, a Wheelock AS horn strobe. That was wicked impressive. The fact that this thing is still partially functional right now is actually mind-boggling, especially after it was on fire and died multiple times. I think the overcurrent or overheating protection inside is what kept it going, because every time it sensed it was getting too hot, it would just shut off, and then later on, after it cooled down, it would start going again. But that is very, very impressive. There we have it, though. Thank you for watching, and take care. Bye-bye.